Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for a spooky battle royale and we're in a spooky battle arena because it is Halloween and in fact I'm recording this on the day of Halloween and we got all the dinosaurs already released into the arena and well we're not going to waste time, let's go through them all shall we? <laughs> Right, we got a few newcomers here, so let's uh, start with this bad boy. It is Diceratops, now known as Nidoceratops, making its way over to uh, Evolution 2, freshly ported from Evolution 1, but this time on the Taurosaurus rig instead of the Triceratops rig. And this guy was all paid in the ass to texturize. For whatever reason, the Taurosaurus textures are very odd. Let's just put it that way. Here's another new lightning dinosaur making a return. We got the Pachyrhinosaurus. And yeah, I feel like I did a good job on this. Okay, here's the thing with Pachyrhinosaurus. It has a very like hexagonal pattern, as you can see here. But I did a much better job on it this time. Except for the tail seam here. <laughs> Someone else making a return. And long anticipated return. We got the Baryonyx. New and improved. Although I don't know if it's going to do well here. It's been, I've been putting it off for too long, but here it is. The OG Acro. Criminally underrated in my opinion. And I say that, oh, what the bloody hell is that? Oh dear. <laughs> I forgot to take the green line off it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, I, I knew I'd forget something. But yeah, we got Acrocamphosaurus, the OG, making its debut here in Evolution 2. I think it featured in like one Evolution 1 video and then I lost all my mods and why is something on low health? Oh, bless it, Parpasaurus is on low health, it can't, can't drink. But uh, yeah, Parpasaurus has received a bit of a facelift. Nicer pattern on the back and on the uh, spiky bits and a slight change in coloration. So what I have actually done, which has made mod in a lot easier instead of doing cosmetic variations i've actually just added extra patterns go through it really quick so something like well this papasaurus for example as you can see is the papasaurus cosmetic and i plan to do that with pr practically every dinosaur i've also done the same for alpha acro who has also received the face left uh what else do we have to go through because i have updated quite a lot uh, duh, 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 where, where is every? Okay, Ankylosaurus has also received a facelift. Um, the pattern looks a lot nicer on the back now. It did look a bit too poopy like. <laughs> but, courtesy of Photoshop and Content Aware Tools, I was able to fix that. Well, hey! Okay, so I will mention that Dasplitosaurus and the Gorgosaurus are currently missing because I just have no idea what's wrong with them. And yeah, you can see here I've added a cosmetic for the albertosaurus i also did it for the other two as well but I, I just have no idea why they're not working 
they look fine in Species Viewer. I can see them in Species Viewer. I load them into the game and they're just invisible. Uh, Cacurodontosaurus looking very a lot more chunkier and bigger than it used to. You got you and my friend got a nice face left. And if you want to see me releasing these dinosaurs, you can check them out on the shorts channel as well. I'll pop a pin up at the top. And oh yeah, we got Death Pit here with this weird skull. I think that is it off the top of my head. Everything else is uh, is uh, new. Oh, hang on. Stratosaurus has got a slight texture update. Right, I think I think we're ready to go now. I've gone through everything. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's a bit of rumbling. What is this entering the arena? It's big. It's colossal. It's filling up the entire screen. But what is it? It is the one. The only. The super size Seismosaurus. So big you can't even see its head. Oh, look at how big it is compared to the Barry. It's like a big foot of salt. You better get out of the way, Barry. It's going to stomp on you. So, yeah, we have Seismosaurus. Super sized as well, because, you know, the Seismosaurus is massive in Dinosaur King. And I probably should clarify a few things. So I'm sure you realise, unless you sleep under a rock, that there was a, a mod on the Nexus a few months ago called the Amphicelius mod, which made, obviously, Amphicelius. And the rig was edited so it was supersized so it was a lot bigger than any of the other sauropods in this game so what i thought would be a great idea is to figure out how the in that guy pulled it off i think it was master dude how he pulled off the amphicelius rig and after well this took me about <laughs> i think it took me about two weeks to get right oh the, the, the skin took me about an hour it didn't take that long but the rig, oh, and take notes. This is coming from someone who doesn't know nothing about rig editing. I was literally going into this blind, but I thought, hmm, you know what? Let's have a go because this doesn't look too difficult. And what I did in the end was basically extend the rig of the legs. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't even know it to begin with it, without it. And watching rig editing tutorials, so yeah, big shout out for the uh, modding community for providing the, the tutorials, but. I tell you one thing, after the stress I had making this thing, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I am not rig editing again. I'm not touching rig editing anymore. I am done. But yeah, we have Seismosaurus, so it is definitely worth it to have this beast in the arena. And when I do Supersaurus, I'll just copy the rig I did for Seismosaurus. So before people go criminally slaughtering me in the comment section, this is not Amphicelius. This is not a copy of Amphicelius. I took inspiration from the rig. But it doesn't have the custom animations that the Amphicelius has. Oh, but you thought that was it, did you? Something has escaped containment. Whoa! He's coming back for revenge. He's making his return from Evolution 1 to 2. It's the one and only, the absolute nightmare hybrid of my own creation. It is Dego Jira. And wow, this thing is awesome. Uh, yeah, fresh fresh from uh, Evolution 1 when I used to do uh, <laughs> hybrids. And for those of you that are new, this is a hybrid of Gojirasaurus and Stegosaurus. And it looks absolutely awesome. So one rule I did have when I do these hybrids is I have to keep to similar patterns and colour schemes as its components. Hence, it's got the uh, Stegosaurus colorings and the Gojirasaurus patterning. And when I originally, when I ported the original one over to Evolution 2, it had a lot of issues. It had a lot of bugs. I mean, this one's got seams, but I think that's to do with the uh, expanded foliage mod. This is one I actually made from scratch. I had to scrap the ported one because it was so buggy. And I think I pulled it off. I think it looks awesome. And I'm hoping we'll get to see it in action. Right. I think that's enough diddy talking now. Let's see some carnage. All right, combat has been turned on. Let's see if we get some kills. Oh, look at Seismosaurus here. And for those of you that don't remember, Mapusaurus is our current current champion. Where is Mapusaurus? I think he's over here. Hmm. 
Oh, a black T-Rex here, glowing with overwhelming power. Looking to overpower its opponent. Oh, here we go. Our first fight is between Stegosaurus and Majungasaurus. And we can watch Triceratops and Tajongosaurus in the background. Ooh, the Stegodur is getting in on the action there, taking a crack at the Seismosaurus. Wait, what? They freaking died already? The freaking Stegodur are wasting no time killing the Seismosaurus. Uh, oh, 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 wow. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we also had a fight between something around here. Uh, give me a sec while I uh, get rid of this Seismosaurus before it, like, bugs out. Okay, we got Anchiceratops taking on Sukumimus. Ooh, oh wow, Stego Jura getting in on the act early. Bash! Oh, oh, down goes Pachyrhinosaurus. His debut lasted about two seconds. Stego Jura already killing two things. And he seems to like killing the new things. Ooh, Anchiceratops inflicting laceration onto the Suko. Right, and I can't get rid of this freaking thing. Ooh, Black T-Rex on top there. And what's it doing? Oh yeah, definitely the Torvosaurus. No match for Black T-Rex there. On 9% health. So what have we got so far? So Pachyrhinosaurus has died. The Seismosaurus has died. Quite disappointing there. And so far, Stegodura is the only thing to kill something. Do -do 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 -do. Badoosh! Oh no, Majungasaurus is done. <laughs> Stegosaurus getting off the mark there with its first kill. Uh, carnivores are going to have to watch out for the steg because it is a potent force. And yeah, Sukumimus is done. It's going to get lacerated. And ah, oh, poor old Anchiceratops is lonely. Oh my goodness, this Stegosaurus is not stopping. Badoosh. I think Ceratosaurus is going to die next. Oh, it's a clash. And yeah, things not looking good for the... Oh no, Ceratosaurus is gone! Stegodura showing no mercy so far. Oh, and finally, I think the uh, Seismosaurus is gone. Oh, oh, Sinterosaurus is about to get hunted down, I think. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, ah, driven into the water, drowned and killed. Sinteosaurus last in two seconds. Oh, oh really? <laughs> oh, bless it. Alpha Acrocanthosaurus killing Papasaurus in two seconds. Oh, hang on, we got a death over here, I think. Oh, God, what? Oh, no. God, what a Titan got killed by the T Rex. Bless it. Ooh, Cychania taking a crack at Black T Rex. Is that a good idea? No, it's not. Oh, poor Cychania. All its spikes could not stand up to the overwhelming power of this big brute. Oh, really? You're picking a fight with that thing? <laughs> and I think, yep, yeah, Gojurasaurus, the latest victim of uh, Stegojura. Oh, now what are you doing? You're panicking, apparently. You want to fight. Ooh, a Frovenate, the Vicarnotaurus. Carnotaurus does get the first hit. There's Pachycephalosaurus in the background. I mean, if Stegodura is going to cause this much carnage, what's freaking Mega Faganax going to cause when I add him into the game? Which I, I was original. I was actually going to add him for this one, but uh, I'm having trouble loading its original model, so I can't port it into Evolution Two. Freaking Monolophosaurus. Why? Why would you take on a T-Rex? Like seriously, why would you take this thing on? They could kill you instantly. Ooh, we've got a fight between Crowlophosaurus and the Alpha Danonychus. And the Alpha Danonychus died. Because Crowlophosaurus is like... He's like in that middle bracket. Where he's too strong against the uh, smaller dinosaurs like Danonychus. But when it fights anything bigger than it, it dies instantly. And yeah, it might have a little bit of lag here because I used the uh, fog. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome. Oh, we've got Allosaurus Atrox taking on Para. Para can't use the Bigfoot Assault anymore. I think that's going to cost it. Oh, that was doing a circle thing. Oh, oh, he's going up and down, up and down, and flailing all over the place. I mean, this is what Dinosaur King fans want, isn't it? A Parasaurolophus that fights back. Badoosh. 
Tell you what, he's putting up a good fight. Allosaurus Atrox is one of the stronger dinosaurs in this. It did win, unfortunately, and it did concuss the para. You don't want to go into death pit, pal. <laughs> when did you get a fracture? Wait, did you fight the Stegodura? My major fracture, I think. Is that lethal? Okay, it's not lethal, but... Uh... Oh, you got concussion as well. What? Hang on, what have you been fighting? Did you fight the Torvosaurus? It's hungry, apparently. Ooh, Torvosaurus eyeing up the Apatosaurus, I think. Oh, look at it hiding in the mist. Hang on, we need to get a good view of this. Oh, Torvosaurus coming out from the fog. Coming out, coming into the Apatosaurus's range. Um, can Apatosaurus survive? Oh, it did. The Apatosaurus escaped. Oh, we got our champ. Our current champ, Mapusaurus, taking on Carnotaurus. But we also got Anchiceratops taking on the uh, Tijongosaurus. Oh, hang on. Acro versus Barry. This is what we want to see. Our two debutants get in some action. And Barry. I think he got the first hit there. Ooh. Can Baryonyx pull off the upset? Um. Ooh. Okay, I, I think Acro actually got the first hit now. Wait, why are all these hard carnivores starving? Acrocamphosaurus did win that tussle there. Ooh, Mapusaurus iron up the uh, Joboria, I think, but the Joboria does survive with a damaged tooth for some reason. Ooh, Hosaurus getting surface wound. Wow, a lot of injuries here. Megalosaurus using the force against Delta Dromius there. Oh no, I think Tuchongosaurus got lacerated by the Anchiceratops. Oh no. The grumpy bastard laying down the law. Badoosh. Minor fracture, damage too. Ooh, both dinosaurs taking a beat in there. Oh no, no, one's been fatally injured. Oh no, the Jobari has been fatally wounded, I think, by Stegojira. Yeah, Stegojira is just showing no mercy. Wow, so many deaths already. Wait, when did Polacanthus die? Okay, the Super Minus finally popped. Zuniceratops died to Spino. Tajongosaurus is lacerated after its fight with Anchiceratops. And I think that Uluru Titan is about to bite the dust. What's that coming over the hill? Is it an Acro? No, it's a Giga. And Uluru Titan gonna die. Giganonosaurus laying a smackdown on Uluru Titan. I think I've caught up here. Shunosaurus killed by Spino. And wait, what? Oh, Torvosaurus died to the Black T-Rex. Uh, Ceratosaurus, Frovenator has concussion. You have concussion. Oh, for goodness The Stegojura is just not stopping. It is a relentless force of nature. And I think Apatosaurus is going to be the next to suffer. Look at that. He's like, Argh! getting that big tooth in on that thigh there. And, yep, yeah, fatally injured it. <laughs> no chance for the sauropods today. I think this guy's killed all of them except for the... No, he killed the Joboria as well. It's just Camarasaurus left. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no, he's entering Death Pit. Camarasaurus, run. Run your little legs off. Oh, it escaped. But it took an absolute lashing, as is the uh, Matabarasaurus. Oh, 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 another Deidonicus has died. Oh, he's going down the hill. Ooh, this could be interesting. I think this might be a kill for Triceratops. Carnotaur is not looking good at all. Now, I will say... Yep, yeah, that goes Carnotaurus. Now, I will say, herbivores do have an advantage in this because they don't starve to death, but carnivores can. There are feeders, but the carnivores are going to have to fight. And look at that, Macrosaurus decided to pick off the Tijongosaurus while it was weak. Oh, oh, here comes our next victim of Stegojura. Come on, just get it over with. We all know how bad Ankylosaurus sucks. i tell you what, I'll give it credit. It at least got a hit. Badoosh. 15%, 80%, yeah. 
And he's got concussion. No chance against Stego Jura. Wow. All the kills is gone already. Ooh. That could make things interesting. Oh, a broken claw. Stego Jura's gonna have to be careful. Right, so we've lost a few. Oh no, Stratosaur has died. I think it got killed by Allosaurus. Look at Soro Faganax, he's like being boisterous with the uh, Allosaurus Atrox, he's like, yes. I'm bigger than you, I can beat you up. Just get it over with. And the T-Rex rolls down the hill and dies. Ah, oh, poor thing. It's the no chance. Like, why would you fight a T-Rex, seriously? Oh, what are you killing now, you bugger? <laughs> Ooh, entering the burnt forest zone. Gonna eye up a Maya sword. Oh no, run, Maya, run! Blum. Ooh, Alpha Acro versus Shant. Despite the Shant's huge size, still no match for the Alpha Acrocamphosaurus. Actually, you know what I haven't seen for a while? Black T Rex. I mean, you'd think because it's a Lux effect, it'd be easy to spot. Hmm, this could be an interesting fight. Parasaurolophus taking on the Megalosaurus. Will the force be with Megalosaurus, or can Parasaurolophus spring a surprise? Because the Megalosaurus has taken a beat in the looks of it. Oh, look at Parasaurolophus intimidating it. Oh, he scared him off, I think. Yeah, he's panicking. Parasaurolophus showing its dominance. <laughs> Friggin' Baryonyx just chilling out over here. Wait, wait, have we got two berries? Oh. We got two berries, apparently. Well, let's watch uh, berry number one. Do, do, do. Oh, this, they're not going to fight. Okay, well, uh, which one should we get at the arena? What about this one? Okay, you haven't done anything. and you. Okay, you've actually been involved in a fight, but you're not really doing much. I can hear some. Ah, oh, there's Black T-Rex. You've been really quiet. Are you squaring off against Macrosaurus, I think? Oh, come on, Kark. Just get it over with. Put the poor thing out of its misery. Um. <sighs> I always find Ankylosaurus to be just a massive underachiever in this game. Ooh. This could be an interesting tussle. Albertosaurus taking on Penticeratops. I think Pentaceratops got the first hit on the board. Come on, Pentaceratops, you can do it. You're like one of the better lightning dinosaurs. Hmm. Yeah, Pentaceratops won that tussle. And Albertosaurus scurries off into the fog. Well played, sir. Well played. Oh, well, that was Black T-Rex. I think it's taking on the Acrocamphosaurus. And I think it just destroyed it. Oh my god, look at it. Organ trauma, and that's going to be the end for our Acrocamphosaurus. Stood no chance against T-Rex. Oh, it just died. <laughs> it didn't give Black T-Rex the satisfaction of winning. Oh, oh, here goes, uh, here goes Kralophosaurus. The next one to fall victim to the Stegodura Gauntlet. Ooh, Albertosaurus. Internal bleeding. So that fight with Pentaceratops proved costly. And yet, Macrosaurus killing the Diceratops and taking all the colour out of it. This is a very bad idea. You can't beat the T-Rex. Look at it. Oh, wow. Insta-killed. Munched alive and yeeted by a T-Rex. Just no chance, did it? Ah, oh, poor Megalosaurus. What should he Oh, you have had a pace in this battle so far, haven't you? Ooh, hang on. We want to watch this. I think this is going to be a kill for the Barry. This Albertosaurus has been battered and we're going to see some Aqua Whippage. Oh, I freaking one-shot him. One-shot him with the Aqua Whip. Well played by the Baryonyx. And another... And an impressive kill, because Albertosaurus is a tough dinosaur to crack. Hmm, let's see if that changes his fortunes. Oh, look at him in the fog. That is so cool. I love the fog mod. 
Oh no, the pen I think the Pentaceratops is gonna die. He can't get any water. You did so well. You basically got the Albertosaurus killed. Just gotta get some water. It's literally for there, but the Alpha Acro is in the way. I think that's gonna be Pentaceratops dead. But this is a much more intriguing fight than his Mapusaurus getting the first hit on the board. Ooh, Megalosaurus v Wooosaurus, but uh, we'll, we'll stick to this fight. Oh, that wasn't good for the Black T-Rex. I think that was Pentaceratops that just died. Badoosh! Ooh, Wooosaurus getting the first hit on the board. Oh, no it didn't. Megalosaurus did. The power of the force is with Megalosaurus. And I think that's going to be it for Wooosaurus. Yeah, they'll stop. Oh, no, nope. you'll get another cheap shot on the Meg. Oh, that's a sprain. That's not going to be good. That's not good. You'll be easy pickings. And yep, Pentaceratops did not survive against the Alpha Acra. Uh-oh. This is not a good match, Lanzu. You're fighting a T-Rex. Oh, that was a big hit. Big shot for the T-Rex. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> it didn't even get a hit. It didn't even hit him. <laughs> T-Rex, just too powerful and making mincemeat of these hadrosaurs and herbivores. Five victories. One prey kill and four kills. So five kills in total. T-Rex looking really good, but it does have a damaged tooth, so that could be costly. If it fights something, especially this Kark, who just dispatched Metric Amphosaurus in two seconds. And that's his second victory. That, that, what's, what are you going to kill now? Oh, he's going to kill the Ulti Rhinus. Oh, hang on, maybe not. I think that was a hit for Ulti Rhinus. Can't tell because they're freaking fighting on this cliff. Badoosh! Now, I have removed the uh, poison from the Scorpius Rex, so this Stegogira does not have poison. Badoosh! Ulti Rhinus putting up a fight, and I think has helped. He's lacerated it! Oh, they're both lacerated. Oh, that's a double KO for Stego Jura and Ulti Rhinus. Ulti Rhinus took itself out, but it has taken out the Stego Jura. It's lacerated, which means it is gonna die. It won't get the kill, but it is gonna die. Atrox taking on the Black T-Rex. Even with a broken claw, Black T-Rex proving too powerful. Or maybe not. Maybe Aloatrox does have a chance. Yum! Oh, that was a big hit. Felt the tremors after that hit. I think Atrox will get one more hit and then he'll stop. Yeah. Surface wounds. Oh. They tried it, but Black T-Rex was having none of it. And with Stegogira about to die, Kamarasaurus might actually survive. Apparently the Stegogira won that fight, but that fight has proven costly. So I think there'll be a rematch where Stegogira will probably win. But we'll give Ulti Rhinus props. It did lacerate it, and it is a big factor as to why the Stegogira is going to die. And I think Yangchungosaurus, which we haven't seen much of at all, is about to bite the dust against the Giga. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Giganonosaurus looking really good. Oh, <laughs> we got a Deinonychus. I think we only got two Deinonychus left. So they can't really do anything. Bloody shame. I'd like to see them pack hunt more. But we can't have everything, can we? And yet they're finishing their fight. I think Stegojura's Probably the last kill it's going to get here. Okay, come on, Ulti Rhinus. Can you... He freaking hit it first! Can he kill it? Can he actually pull off the upset victory? We need catch him over this. Oh, no, I'm going to miss it! Damn it. Bird's eye view. Bird's eye view. Ooh, Stego Oh, that was a big shot. Even lacerated. These two are just not backing down. The guts and the glory on show here. Badoosh. 
Is that it? I think that's going to be it. Yeah. And that time, oh, the Rhinos did win the fight. But 27 for 7 percent. Oh, oh, there goes Wursaurus. Badoosh. I prep a little bit of a fight, but yeah. No chance against Zoro Faganax, unfortunately. I know he's going to kill it. And yep, there it is. Stego Jura. Oh, look at him. He said curled up in an egg. <laughs> Our ferocious brute of a hybrid died due to starving to death. <laughs> Classic carnivore death, that is. And how's he a ulti right in this to end? On 21%. Yeah, he'll, he'll die though. Ironically in death pet. <laughs> look at all the carnivores I in him up. We got Black T-Rex, Delta Dromius, Kark, Megalosaurus coming over to have a look. You're not really... A, this is not really a good spot for a snooze, Mr. Matt. Oh, Neo Carcarius coming down as well. It's hungry. Oh, no. I think this is going to be the end for the Barry. Uh, it's, even though it would... Even though it does counter the fire of the Acrocanthosaurus, the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus is just too strong. Oh, I'll tell you what, though, he gets a hit back. Fair play to it. Hmm, maybe this isn't... No, the Alpha Acro is hungry, so he really needs to finish him off here. But can't seem to do it. Baryonyx, survive it. But yeah, he took a lash in there. And he's heading into the death pit. That's the end of Sauropelt, though. I think it did not survive its fight against Sauropaganex. Ooh, Allosaurus Atrox, die to the T-Rex. I think he was uh, badly injured anyway, so the T-Rex got an easy, easy pick in for the T-Rex. Well, Stegodura may be bowing out, but it certainly left a mark. Laying waste to countless dinosaurs that killed all but one of the uh, sauropods. The Camarasaurus was spared, although it does have a few marks. Oh, oh, the Baryonyx popped its clogs against the T-Rex. <laughs> there goes Kentrosaurus in the background there, dying to the car. But all eyes on Acrocanthosaurus versus Giganontosaurus. That's better. Oh, look at that! The Acro has been battered by the Giga there. Giga hardly took any damage. Wow. Pretty strong. Could the Giga win for the first time? And Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, despite doing well in this... Not looking good. And it could be picked off by something. And yep. Let's just take a moment to enjoy the last few minutes of Ulti Rhinus's life. As it fades away into nothingness. 2%. 1%. You know, its most memorable moment. Killing, lacerating the Stegojira and putting an end to his reign of terror. <laughs> yep, there goes Ulti Rhinus. But hey, at least it did something, you know? As opposed to most of the other herbivores. herbivores. So what do we have left? Oh, we have quite a lot left. A lot of herbivores up here. We've got Megalosaurus. We've still got Black T-Rex and T-Rex left. Eocarcaria, there's T-Rex. we got the Alpha Acro. I think the normal Acro died ages ago. We still got Triceratops, we still got Pachycephalosaurus. Still anyone's game, but the Alpha Acro's gonna need to heal quickly. Oh, oh, oh no. The Giga's gonna hunt down the Kamarasaurus. Oh no, he survived the Stegodura's wrath. Will he survive the Giga's? He does. I tell you what, Kamarasaurus is putting up a really good fight, because I think the Stegodura hunted it twice. And it still survived. It's tanking the hits, even though it is one of the smaller sauropods in this. He's tanking the hits. Ooh, Megalosaurus taking a crack at Delta Dromius in the burnt forest. Oh, hang on, I think this is the end for Acrocanthosaurus. Yeah, there it is. Alpha Acrocanthosaurus biting the dust against our current champion, Mapusaurus. Um, the fiery reign of Acrocanthosaurus has ended. So Alpha Acro, going down. 
Oh, the Megalosaurus did not fare well against the uh, Deltadromius. Getting organ trauma, which means it is going to go down. All right, we are also... Ooh, ooh, this could be interesting. Fight between Giga and T-Rex. And it's T-Rex, I think, gets the first hit. Maybe this will be the day of the T-Rex. Has... I don't think it's won one yet. Oh, no, I think it won it the, like one of the very first ones. The one where uh, Spino died super early. Maybe this will be T-Rex's time again, and it does defeat the Giganotosaurus. Like, roaring that way for some reason. 60%, 54%, okay, 50-50. Oh, look, oh. it's T-Rex's turn to hunt down the Camarasaur. Let's see if he succeeds. Actually, we'll watch this fight. Eocarcaria trying to flank the Triceratops, I think. But the Triceratops is having none of it. Oh, no! He, wait, he freaking killed it instantly! Jeez! Eocarcaria, you are savage! I haven't really seen much of you so far. In fact, yeah, that's your first victory. And he one-shot the Triceratops. And I think... The Camarasaurus did in fact survive the T-Rex attack. The T-Rex failed to bring down the Kama. Gotta give the Kama props here. It's taken on T-Rex, it's taken on Giga, it's taken on the Stegojira. I think it took on Alpha Acro as well. Tanking them hits like a boss. Unlike the Seismosaurus that died instantly. We got Black T-Rex taking on T-Rex. Now, we all know how this should end, based on the power level of the Black T-Rex as opposed to the normal T-Rex, but you never know in this. And yeah, look at that. Backing down to the Black T-Rex. Let's have a look. Oh, it didn't even take damage. Up, oh, up. Oh. And Black T-Rex is the next one to attempt to hunt the camera down. Let's see if he succeeds. Oh, he done some damage, but the Camarasaurus yet again surviving. Yeah, you failed, didn't you, buddy? So that's Black T-Rex, that's T-Rex, that's Giga, that's Stegojira, and Acro have all failed to bring down this Camarasaurus. Oh, T-Rex is getting on the act now. <laughs> oh, they all want a piece of the camera. Oh, maybe not. Oh, the T-Rex just gave up, apparently. Now, what the camera needs to do here is rest. Because if it sleeps, nothing can attack it. Oh, here he comes. Uh, oh, he's, apparently he escaped again. Let's have a look. Ooh, ooh, I thought we were going to have face-off there but between Black T-Rex and Spino, but nope, wasn't meant to be. But he's really trying to line up this Camarasaurus. It's just not happening. Oh, here we go. Is that it? Oh no, that's it! That's it for the camera! Wait, the freaking Giga's getting in on the act. Look at look how cheap this is, the Giganonosaurus coming in to get the cheap kill. <laughs> no, it's done though. Wow, that is so cheap. The T-Rex did most of the work. But I, you've got to give Kamarasaurus some props. It took a lashing. It took an absolute beating. But it was finally, fatally brought down by the T-Rex. Well, the team up to the T-Rex and the Giga brought it down. Oh, look at Black T-Rex coming over. Right, let's see how some other fights ended. Oh, no. He can't get any water, love him. All the big carnivals are there. Ooh, Mapusaurus taking on Black T-Rex. Is that a good idea? Mapusaurus being crushed by the overwhelming power of Black T-Rex. And our cut and our champ goes down. Ooh, we got Spinosaurus versus T-Rex, and is Spino getting the first hit? Usually seems to happen in these matchups. Spinosaurus usually seems to win. 
And that doesn't look good for the T-Rex. Oh, what is this? The T-Rex is going down. The Spinosaurus gets the neck snap off and kills the T-Rex instantly. So while Black T-Rex succeeds, the normal T-Rex fails. Hmm, kind of surprised it. I thought they would, like, retreat, but no. And in fact, the Spino's only second victory. Could Spinosaurus yet again regain his crown? Well, it looks like the Throvenate is going to be the one to pick off the Megalosaurus. And there it is. Down it goes. And that's a kill for the Afrovenator. Oh no. No, Corycorinosaurus, you're gonna die. Into the misty, dark, destroyed forest. Wait, is he gonna escape? Freaking escaped! Go on, Corythosaurus, you can escape! He freaking did it! Ah, a Corythosaurus! He fled the Carcharodontosaurus. Tactical, running into the mist. I can't, can't see it. Ooh, Spinosaurus taking on Sorophagonax. Let's see how this ends. Or will it end? I suspect... No! Spino does not get the first hit. Or maybe it did, because uh, there are some scars on the Phagonax. Bam! Is Sorophagonax the next one to get his neck broke? Maybe... Or can it survive? Okay, yeah, it definitely didn't win. But at least it survived. And it didn't come away with any injuries either, so that's more crucial. But yeah, Spinosaurus, pretty dominant there. Pretty dominant. Okay, here we go. We've got Stegosaurus taking on the Giga. Oh no, is it going to end badly for the Steg? This guy is like literally the herbivore's best hope of a win. But, yeah, it doesn't look good. It's been absolutely... Oh, wow. It's... Oh, yeah, it's done. Wow, that was quick. Major fracture, and that's probably going to be all she wrote for this deck. Oh, and Spino gets the first hit, even though I think it did just come off the fight with the Fagonax. Not looking good, Black T-Rex. Not looking good. It does get another hit on the board. And they have a cuddle, but I think Spino's going to win this one. Yeah, he does. Black T-Rex not looking good. And in fact, it does have a minor fracture, which is going to cause a problem. Oh, what was that that popped? Up oh, the Stegosaurus. I it died at first. Oh, bless it. The herbivore's best hope of a win is gone. We've still got Pachycephalosaurus. Have you done any? You've done nothing. Ever since I trans made you into a dinosaur to fight, you've been a real disappointment. Oh, this was a bad idea for the Black T-Rex. It's just taking a beating from Spino. And down it goes. The Giga downs the Black T-Rex. I ah, just ran out of power in the end. And the Giganontosaurus is it to take advantage. Hmm. Will Giganontosaurus win for the first time? Ah, oh, one of the Deinonychus died, died at first, so that means we should only have one left. Yeah, it's this dude. And yeah, he's not looking too good either. So Fagonax taking a crack at Delta Dromius, and it's Delta Dromius getting the first hit. Oh, no, it didn't. I think so Fagonax did. But I just missed it. Oh, 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 the mist is coming in. <laughs> Oh, look at Sorophagonax vanishing into the mist. And, yep, they're going to stop there with Sorophagonax not taking any damage. Okay, yeah, I can't really call Deinonychus a winner here because it's basically done nothing. Right, I have removed the final carnivore feeder now. So, that will mean that all the carnivores are going to start slowly getting hungry. And when they get hungry, they're going to have to fight and kill to survive. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, they are going to fight. This is, might not be good for Sorophagonax. This Eocarcaria looks relatively unscathed. And we've, well, we've hardly seen any of it. It's been doing naff all. And it, yeah, it does get the first hit. That's not good for the fact. Dun, 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 dun. But Sorophagonax does respond with a counter strike of his own. Are they going to stop? Oh, oh, the, the Dromius is getting in on the act. Yeah, not good for Sorophagonax, that. 
Oh, and now Eocarcaria is decided to pick on the Kreefosaurus. And here we see the Kreefosaurus as it makes its grand escape from the Eocarcaria. Oh, never mind, it doesn't. It's dead. Eocarcaria wasted it in two seconds, and he even impaled his leg on a dead tree. Science, kitty, science. Hey, Anki Ceratops. Oh, you might have poked the beer there, Eocarcaria. You woke the grumpy bastard up. Ooh, he don't like being woken up from his nap, like the Ceratops. He's like, yes, I'm going to kill someone. Oh wait, no, we got Metaverosaurus left, haven't we? I, f I completely forgot about you. Well, you're going to be dead now in a minute. Like that. Ooh. Ah, oh, bless it, it was thirsty as well. <laughs> oh, that's it, stand on his head to add insult to injury, you bully. And look at this little weasel. This Gummy dinosaur coming in, feeding off Carcharodontosaurus's kill. Oh! Frovenate has just been wasted by the Kark! Wow, Carcharodontosaurus wasn't satisfied killing the mutt. They have to finish off a Frovenate too. And this might not be the best best fight for Delta Dromius, taking on a Guanodon. It does have surface wounds! But the surface wounds not phasing our Delta Runner. And it finishes off the Iguanodon. So actually, who do we have left? Let's have a quick look who we got left. Got a lot of carnivores left. So we got Deinonychus left, but that's not going to win. We got Giga Spino, Anchiceratops, Sorolophus, Pachycephalosaurus, Kark, Sorophagonax, Deltadromius, and Eocarcaria. So we are down to our final 10, ladies and gentlemen. And well, Deinonychus is going to come in 10th because it's starving to death and it can't do anything. I don't know if they can fight the, uh, well, this is Dinochirus, so I'm not sure if they can fight. Oh, oops. <laughs> I think you, you just saw something you weren't meant to see. <laughs> Spoilers! Okay, we got a fight between Spino and Giga. I think Spino won their last encounter. And yet, naturally, Spino gets the first hit. Ooh, Giga, though, can he get a hit back? Oh. Oh, he just hits it and then walks off. <laughs> oh, they get the... Oh, a bit of lag. Ooh, ooh, Spino's not looking good all of a sudden. Look at that. No food, no water. Spinosaurus in trouble. As is the Giga. Like, I don't know why he's not drinking. There's plenty of water here. Look, even Sirolophus is having a drink. Hmm, Spino and Giga not in a good situation yet. I don't know why the Spino's not having a drink. Okay, and these Ceratops, you're looking pretty good, actually. You have two fight victories, but you have yet to get a kill. Is this the time for the Yankee Ceratops? Oh! Oh, I just caught that! The freaking Sorolophus wasting the Giganontosaurus! Well, I, I literally just caught a glimpse of that, so I was going to fast forward. Ooh, Sorofagonax taking another lash in and... Oh, surface wounds, not good. But look at this. The Giganonosaurus, who looked really strong, going down, and in fact, coming in 10th place, I believe. And Spinosaurus is sleeping for some reason. But yeah, that's Giganonosaurus coming in 10th place. And Spinosaurus, I mean, I don't know why he's not eating. There's a friggin' dead carcass here. For some reason, he's coming up to these... He's trying to ambush the Sorovas. Look at him, he's like... Yes, he will see me coming. Oh, Delta Dromius coming over here. But yeah, Sorolophus laying a smackdown on Giganontosaurus. Actually, okay, has one loss. It has two victories. I'm not sure what else it defeated. So this thing has seen plenty of action. Flying the flag for the grass dinosaurs. Oh, no. Oh, this... Actually, this might be interesting. Oh, Anchiceratops! Spinosaurus messed with the Anchiceratops and paid the price. And wow! Yeah, it, the fact that it, it, it didn't heal up enough, quick enough, it just picked a fight with Anchiceratops and Anchiceratops picked him off. Look at that, three victories and one kill for our grumpy bastard. Will he win again? And Anchiceratops did win one in Evolution 1. Oh, Sorofagonax, are you... Is it this spike? 
Yeah, there it is. Sort of fucking axe going down to the car. A well-positioned fire cannon, making the difference. Okay, so Giga came in 10th, Spino has come in 9th, Sorrow Faganax in 8th, so we are down to 7, I believe. Oh no, there goes Sorolophus. I mean, it did its best, it killed the Spinosaurus, but unfortunately, Eocarcaria proving too strong. Well, the Deinonychus is pretty much disqualified since it... Uh, <laughs> Hasn't had any fights and it can't fight. So Deinolicus is disqualified for that reason. So we'll give Sorolif a sixth place. Which, you know, for a herbivore is not too bad. So all we got left is Ancticeratops and the Pachycephalosaurus. It's like that we're probably going to see Eocarcaria or Carcharodontosaurus win for the first half. Here we go. Oh, oops, oops. Oh, I doubt the drone is taking a lash in there. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that fire cannon's done some severe damage. Oosh, has dealt the drone? Did he even get a hit? Uh, oh, it did get a hit, but... Oh, that's it. All she wrote for dealt the drone, because it's got organ trauma. It is done. Oh, yeah. I think this is going to be it for dealt the drone, as Kakarodontosaurus has decided to pick it off. He's like, yes. It's my kill. And coming in 6th place is Delta Dromius. Well, actually, no, he's coming in 5th place. So we are down to 4. So we've got Kark, Eocark, Pachycephalosaurus, and Anchiceratops. Up, oh, up. Oh, I think Pachycephalosaurus is about to bite the dust. Or is it? Oh, the Eocark area didn't look good. Oh, he freaking killed it! Wow! And I think that changes everything. Pachycephalosaurus smacking down the Eocarcaria, who looked really strong. I don't know what happened to it. I mean, it wasn't hungry or anything. I think the Sorolophus must have done damage to it when it fought it. So coming in fourth place is Eocarcaria, which is actually the, its highest ever finish. And then they were free. So we got Pachycephalosaurus back in the action. I don't think it's going to beat the Kark, though. And the Anchiceratops, who has done pretty well here. And Carcharodontosaurus, the last surviving carnivore. Yeah, I think Kark is going to win. It's got good hunger at the minute, and I think at 100% it will probably finish these two off. Hmm, his food is starting to drop a bit. We'll hopefully see some fights as he's squaring up against the Pachycephalosaurus. I think he might be trying it. Nope, nope, nope. Decided to wait. Oh, Anchiceratops coming over. He's trying to fight something. He wants to fight something. I'm not sure what it is. But these two herbivores... Oh, oh, hang on. He's turning around. Oh, is this the fight for third? Oh, it's not good. Anchiceratops has done so well to get this far but I think this is going to be it oh I can't anchor there at you could do it oh well hit it but yeah 31 to 73 and oh it's lacerated Unfortunately, Anchiceratops bit off more than it can chew, taking on the Kark. And it will not repeat its Jurassic World Evolution 1 success, and it will most likely finish third. Although, the Kark didn't come away unscathed. So, does that open the door for Pachycephalosaurus? I think it might. I mean, the problem the Kark has is that it is going to need food, actually, because it is hungry. So it's going to have to fight something. I suspect you'll go for the Anchiceratops, which is on the brink of death. Oh, that ain't coming over. Oh. Are we going to see Pachycephalosaurus win for the first time ever? He really got the first hit. No way, no way, no way. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. This is a dream. 
He got freaking two hits in a row. Wisely yields a Patty Cephalosaurus from Prey the Predator. And Patty Cephalosaurus might actually win this. I mean, he's done nothing this whole battle. But it doesn't matter. If it kills these two, it's won. Wait, is it dying? Oh, the freaking cock is dying. It can't heat. Oh, oh, I think that's. An yep, Anky Ceratops has just popped. And the freaking cock is gonna die. I, I, I am stunned. I am genuinely stunned. The Pachycephalosaurus, out of absolutely nowhere, it's just one. Oh, percent. <laughs> and Carcharodontosaurus is gone. That is incredible. And somehow, some way, our winner is Pachycephalosaurus. And I bet you that was not the outcome anyone was expecting. And yeah, that's it. So Anchiceratops comes in third because it died before the cock. Cock comes in second. And Pachycephalosaurus comes in first. And well, Deinonychus is still alive, but it's disqualified because it can't do anything. God, this has to be the most insane battle ever. Unexpected, Unexpected outcome only on this channel. channel. Like, where else does a Pachycephalosaurus win a battle royal? You've got to subscribe for that. You've got to leave a like for that. That's it for the spooky battle this year. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Hashtag touch the rainbow. And until then, ta-ta.